Casey Dean. In fact, spring is here, and if you haven't finished or perhaps even started your spring cleaning, fear not. We've got someone who can help. She's not going to do the cleaning for you, but Dana White is here. She dishes out her top cleaning tips to thousands at a slobcomesclean.com. And she's here with her expert advice. So beyond calling a whole cleaning crew. Right. What do we do? Well, I am all about reality-based cleaning okay. and organizing. And the reality is that spring cleaning energy is a real thing, yeah. but it doesn't last forever. It no. kind of disappears quickly sometimes. So mm -hmm. we're going to talk about ways to tackle the mess before the energy Before disappears. that energy goes away. That's right. Okay. okay. So first thing, just look around your house and think of ways that you can use the things you already have in different ways, okay? So like if you have a spot cleaner, uh -huh. this is the Reg Doctor Portable Spot Cleaner. That's the one I've had for years. I use it all the time for pet messes and kid messes. Oh. But when I start spray cleaning, I think, okay, I can use it for cleaning my upholstery, cleaning yeah. my car, decorative pillows. All the different attachments that you kind of just right. ignored over the years. So exactly. you just use it for different, different yes, parts of the house. Yes, I can use it for house. all kinds of different things. And then you can rent a rag doctor at your grocery store if I you want to tackle the deep cleaning this weekend before the energy leaves you next week uh, when you have right. to schedule something. Okay, cool. so I love cleaning products, but you can clean pretty much your whole bathroom with dish soap. Really? Yes. Get yourself a scrubby sponge, one that has the scrubby surface on it. Uh -huh. You're probably going to want a non-scratch one. A lot of bathroom surfaces scratch. Why and dish just, soap? I'm telling you, it's amazing what you can do with dish soap. If you will just squirt it on there and get to scrubbing, you'll be shocked and amazed. Even the at toilet? The, well, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could. You could totally squirt it in there and clean the toilet. But as far as your surfaces, you want to start at the top, start okay. on the counter, get all that done. Um, my one major tip uh -huh. is if you're going to use these things in the bathroom, label it bathroom. Ah. I use a permanent marker so that you nobody else... You can't use the kitchen one for the bathroom? No, 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 no. Like no, I... you don't want your oh. kids to be extra helpful and use something you've used in the bathroom in the kitchen. So I like to make it very, very clear. Nobody can misunderstand. And okay? that won't wipe off. Right, exactly. Right. Okay, now if you have cleaned your bathroom, yes. you want to feel like you've cleaned it for a really long time, right? Exactly. Okay, so when you're done, take a little bit of your favorite cleaner, whatever scent makes yeah. you think clean, pour it in your toilet bowl, toilet brush holder. Oh, that's okay. a smart idea. Yes, and that's going to give you that scent, but it's also going to give you extra cleaning power when you do a quick scrub of your toilet. Okay. If you have kids, though, you don't want to use cleaning products, right? Okay, you don't want to have them out where they'd be accessible to them. So squirt some dish soap in there or hand soap or vinegar or whatever you have, okay? okay. But that gives you an extra little boost right there. Good. Good always, enough. always, always ask yourself, could this go in the dishwasher? Okay. Yes. Right. So like this. No, Could, not that. I wouldn't. This can't do that. go. No. That would be super gross. <laughs> Sorry. But other things can, like your toothbrush holder. Okay. Okay. You know, sometimes these get super nasty, and mm -hmm. you want to, you know, you might need to scrub it. Whatever. You don't need to scrub it. Just you stick it in your dishwasher. dishwasher if it's dishwasher okay. safe. And what about not these everything guys? Is. This is like decorative glassware that you have in your kitchen. Can go in the dishwasher. Yes. All right. If it's dishwasher safe. Find a way to stick it in the dishwasher because this is way easier than scrubbing it forever. Awesome. Okay, if you are out of paper towels, don't worry about it. Uh -huh. Okay, you can use newspapers to clean your windows, or you can find that T-shirt that somebody I in your family. I always use like my old T-shirts. Yeah, All maybe right. you wish somebody so would have decluttered can do the trick. it. Absolutely, yes. And what is this yes. about? Okay, that is about decluttering because there are people who can't even think about cleaning because no. they need to get rid of the clutter because yeah. they can't even find their surfaces. So I'm big on decluttering, that's my specialty. So if you don't know where to start, start with a trash bag. Get a oh, black trash hurts. bag, I know, right? But if you will just go through and look for trash, for broken stuff, for things that are obviously oh. they need to go, I still get have rid spandex from the 80s that I love. <laughs> And you, you know can, you do you too, can, don't judge. Okay, you're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can donate those, somebody would really want those. So for, right. just go ahead and get rid just of trash rid and of that will build momentum and you'll be able to declutter more. All great tips. Yes, thank I you. I appreciate it. Dana's Thanks blog, by the me. way, again, aslobcomesclean.com. Dana, thank you so much for thank being here with us.